day everyone my name is Nicola Marius and today's scripture reading is taken from Joshua chapter 1 oh my god let's go into Joshua chapter 1 we're reading from verse 1 now after the death of Moses the servant of the Lord it came to pass that the Lord spake unto who Joshua the son of Nun Moses minister saying so Joshua was Moses minister but Joshua was also the son of Nun N-U-N not N-O-N-E <laughs> so Moses my servant is dead now therefore arise go over this Jordan thou and all these people Joshua had a task Joshua received instructions from the Lord after Moses died and he said to Joshua the Lord said to Joshua go over this Jordan thou and all these people unto the land which I do give to them even to the children of Israel every place verse 3 every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon that have I given unto you as I said unto Moses would you believe that God is telling Joshua Joshua I am calling you out my servant is dead I am calling you now to lead my people I am giving you instructions for success oh thank you Holy Spirit I am giving you instructions for success if you obey me you are going to have good success and you would say but where is this in the scriptures that you read let's go a little lower down in the chapter and you will get to know what I am talking about after verse 3 it says in verse 4 from the wilderness and this Lebanon even unto the great river the river Ephrates and the land of the Hittites and unto the great sea towards the going down of the Sun shall be your coast God is telling Joshua this is where your coast will be I am giving you the place of the Hittites this Joshua was young right but he had a heart for the servant of the Lord and he obeyed Moses while Moses was alive he was ministering to Moses while Moses was alive he was Moses minister as you could see in verse as we can see in verse um one you understand in verse one god is saying that you are moses minister but now my servant is dead i am calling you you know many times god is calling us thank you holy spirit god is calling us and sometimes because of the task ahead of us we shrug back we pull ourselves back and we say lord no i don't know if i can do this it's okay to tell God you don't know if you can do this but it's not okay to tell God you will not do it because if you do not live out your purpose on this earth many people could perish because of our disobedience it could cause a generation to lose their life now Joshua chose to obey God Joshua did not know the obstacles that would come he did not know the many things that would have happened later on in the chapters but Joshua knew that God is with him he knew for a fact that God is with him but let's continue verse 4 we've gone through verse 4 and God is saying I'm going to give you the the coast of the Hittites I am going to give it to you and it's going to be your coast even in verse 3 it says every place the sole of your foot shall tread upon it shall be yours say that with me every place the sole of my feet shall tread upon it shall be mine you know why because God says that 
he has given you dominion, power, and authority. Okay? If we go down to verse 5 in Joshua, it says, There shall not any man. Oh my God. Wow. There shall be not any man able to stand before you. All the days of your life. Isn't that amazing? This is a promise that God is giving to Joshua. In spite of you not knowing your tomorrow, you not knowing the next five minutes, you not knowing the next second, you not knowing if um, anything could happen to you in this pandemic. You are living in an uncertain time. But here God is encouraging his servant Joshua after Moses died. This is Joshua's defining moment. Joshua is now becoming a defined individual to be used by God. Whereas his master Moses is not there any longer. And he has to trust God for himself. How many of us? Sometimes we depend on the man or the woman of God to the point where we feel that if they're not dead and we cannot live, if they don't give us a word, then we feel that, whoa, I don't know what to do. I'm trying to call mister. I'm trying to call mister, but I'm not getting them. What is it that is troubling you today? Hear what God is telling Joshua. He is encouraging Joshua and saying to Joshua, Joshua, as long as you live, there shall be no one, no man, no woman, nobody will be able to stand before you all the days of your life. Do you have an adversary? Do you have an enemy that is persecuting your life in this time of pandemic? Do you have an adversary that is an a, a, a enemy that is attacking you spiritually through your dreams for visions what is it in this world that god cannot do it's impossible without you knowing that it is possible that with god all things are possible it's impossible to be impossible with god do you hear me things are impossible the things that you see impossible, it is possible with God. But it's impossible for God to do anything that is not possible. God will work out everything for your good. And Joshua, he comes and he hears the word of the Lord. And the word of God, the Lord says to Joshua, also in verse 5, B, it says, so I will be with you. I will not fail you. My God, so I will be with you. I will not fail you. I will not fail you nor forsake you. You see that in the New Testament, that Jesus encourages us and says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. And here the king of the universe, God Elohim, is speaking to his servant Joshua and saying, Joshua, I will never fail you. I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. Do you feel alone today? My brother, my sister, mother, father, auntie, uncle, little girl, little boy, teenager, young adults. What is it in this world that could take away your joy? Knowing that you now know that God says he will never leave you and never fail you and he will never forsake you. He's with you to the end. Verse 6. Be strong and of good courage. For unto this people shall thou divide for an inheritance the land which I swear unto your fathers to give them. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. There was a promise that God made to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. And now Joshua is about to glean. Joshua is about to enjoy it. Joshua is about to eat of the honey in the cluster. Oh my God. Mm -mm 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 -mm. The honey in the honeycomb. <laughs> Let me tell you, this is amazing. God said yes. 
you are going to go into that land. I will bring you into that land because I will not fail you. I will not forsake you. Let's go to verse 7. Only be thou strong. So here it is. God is confirming and affirming Joshua. And in that, on that note, let us get people who affirms us, not people who discourage us. Now, whenever you get a discouraging word, it's better that you encourage yourself in the Lord and say, hey, God said that I should be strong and courageous. That he even confirms it and he affirms me and says, be thou strong. Haven't I told you before? Be thou strong and courageous. Yes. So let's go. Verse 7. It says that, and also thou, that thou mayest observe, do according to all the law. Now, if we understand what, God, what the word of God is saying, God is bringing Joshua back and saying, Joshua, hey, remember when I called Moses? Remember that I told you and I gave my people a law. I want you, Joshua, to do according to the law which Moses, my servant, commanded thee. Turn not from it to what? To the left. My God. Turn not from it to the right hand, that you may prosper whithersoever you go. So God is saying, as long as you take heed to his word, how could a young man or young lady cleanse themselves but by taking heed to the word of the Lord? How could the elderly or whoever it is on this earth how could you cleanse yourself? But it's only by taking heed to the word of the Lord. It is only by taking heed to the word of the Lord. And one of my favorite verses there is verse 8. And it says, This book of the law, hmm, say it with me, shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. What shall you have? Good success. Say it with me. What shall I have? Good success. You put your name in that place and say, so and so, okay, I would say, Nicola shall have good success as long as she obeys the word of God and she looks to do all that God has asked her to do. Are you ready to answer yes to God? Like Joshua answered yes to God in spite of not knowing what would happen next? Are you ready? And this is the main point. Do not let the word of God depart out of your mouth, brother and sister. Do not. No matter what age you are, this is for you. Do not let the word of God depart from your mouth. Hide the word of God in your heart that you may not sin against him. Father, we thank you for your word. We bless your holy name. We exalt you. Father, I pray, O oh God, that as they have heard this word, that this word would go through the corridors of their hearts, that this word would be a seed that will fall into good grounds. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Good grounds that it will bring forth 30-fold, 60-fold, 100-fold, and give them the faith, give them the faith of God to execute this word in their lives, to apply this word in their lives, to be able to walk according to your will and your purpose and your plan. Father, have your way in our lives and let your perfect will and purpose be done. And thank you for reminding us that you are with us. 
You will never leave us. You will never forsake us. And you will never fail us. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, thank you for your love towards us. And thank you for your grace. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that you are leading us and directing us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. God bless you. I love you. And have a blessed and a wonderful day wherever you are around the world. Bye.